I'm Kelly Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 539. Apple recently updated their iLife 09 suite, and according to the AppleBlog.com, iMovie 8.0.1 has some new features and fixes that go beyond improvements and stability. The big one is the ability to export full 720p video. Before, the top default res, without some advanced expertise, was the seemingly arbitrary 960 by 540 and that one shortcoming made iMovie irrelevant to lots of people who would otherwise use it. Other improvements include the ability to input geolocation information by entering latitude and longitude coordinates, and a keyboard shortcut for splitting a clip. Command Shift S. Twitter made a pretty significant change too. Previously, there was an at replies tab that would reveal responses to you, but only of those responses that started with at Callie Lewis, to use my name as an example. The at replies tab has now been changed to at username, and clicking it will reveal any tweet that mentions your username. It's a cool little change that shows that Twitter is adapting to how we use it. By the way, I gave away a Drobo to one of my Twitter followers, and I have two more to give away in the next month or so. Chances are you won't know I'm giving them away if you aren't following me. Twitter.com slash Callie Lewis. Yesterday, I said there was a rumor that Sony would be dropping the price on the PS3. Sony denied that later in the day, but it turns out they are dropping the price on the PS2 below $100. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We use the term gadget to refer to all sorts of consumer electronics nowadays, but of course the term refers to mechanical devices or even devices created to help with a specialized task. The thumb saver is a brilliant little invention designed to prevent banging your thumb with a hammer. It's a handle with a strong magnet that holds a nail or screw in place while you drive it into the wood or a wall. I saw it on GadgetGrid.com and I have to think they're right about this making a good Father's Day gift. It's 13 bucks. One more. Last year, one of the big releases was the Canon 5D Mark II. It was important because it shoots gorgeous 1080p video. Panasonic announced its DMC GH1 that also shoots 1080p AVC HD video at 24 frames per second. It's a digital hybrid camera with a 12 megapixel CMOS sensor. 4,000 by 3,000 images are stored on an SD card. The basic kit includes a 45 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. It'll be released in Japan on April 24th for around $1,500. Some nice person registered my secret internet girlfriend.com, hopefully using either promo code GB1, GB2, or GB3 at GoDaddy.com, and they're forwarding it to Geek Brief. Thanks! Thank you for watching. I'm Callie Lewis at Callie Lewis on Twitter. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Roll in, And according to the AppleBlog.com, iMovie 80. Try 8.0.1. <gasps> See if anybody knows. <laughs> See if anybody knows. <laughs>